Hi there, this is Juan Carlos González, Microsoft 365 MVP. First of all, I hope all of you are okay, and now let me introduce the topic for today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about another great feature we have in SharePoint Premium that allows us to have our data in both SharePoint Online and OneDrive under control. I'm going to talk about book download policy for SharePoint Online sites and OneDrive. So as you can see here, and again, this slide is part of the, the slide deck I prepared for the Modern WordPress Conference Paris 2024. Uh, I was part some days ago. And as you can see here, the program we can have in Microsoft 365 with our data is that one of the uh, typical scenarios where we can have data leaks uh, uh, is because our users are downloading files to the local PCs, and then the files uh, can be shared in a bad way or can be even stolen and things like that. So a common ask is, can I, pre can I prevent uh, the download of files from my SharePoint sites and even one day for business? Yes, you can, thanks to uh, this feature that is part of SharePoint Premium. I'm going to show you how you can create a block download policy for SharePoint sites and wonderful business. So documents cannot be downloaded, cannot be printed, cannot be synchronized to any device. And as you can see here, we have also the possibility to do some um, granular setting of the block download policy just to meet your needs, particularly when we're talking about Teams meetings recordings. So let's see in action block download policy for SharePoint sites and one day for business. To do that, I'm going to access my demo environment. Um, before starting with the demo, please check Microsoft official documentation. It's really, really good. Um, here, you are, you are going to have a good understanding of uh, how this broke download policy is going to work for SharePoint sites and one day for business. Indeed, this is the official documentation. And uh, here, we have a dedicated page uh, teaching us how we can set up this policy. It's very straightforward. As you can see here, we need to make use of PowerShell. So the basics is that we need to make use of the set SPO site commandlet, then indicate the uh, site address or the OneDrive for Business site address. And then it's as easy as just indicating block download policy parameter to true. Pretty straightforward. So here you have an example. And then there are some additional parameters that you can use in order to uh, you know, configure the site to meet your needs, such as, for instance, uh, you can exclude site owners from the policy because by default, even site owners and even site collected admins, admins, they cannot download files, they cannot print files, they cannot synchronize files in the local PC. And uh, you have also the possibility uh, to configure specific groups, security groups, I mean, that are allowed to uh, download files or not. Um, we can do the same, as you can see here, with SharePoint groups. And um, even you can make your sites a strict only. Here you have some examples uh, of making use of, uh, sorry, attach the product and load policy to a, to a site sensitivity level. That's also a very interesting scenario. And then some information about app impact. So let's review some PowerShell code in here. As you can see here, it's exactly the same example uh, we have just seen in the documentation. So this is the site address of the site. I have already configured the policy. And here is how I configure the policy. So let's access the site. For now, there is no setting in the SharePoint and Admin Center. If you are maybe may be wondering this. And I'm going to access this site with a user that is Microsoft 365 Global Admin. That's very interesting. But even for a user with that role, it's not possible to download files. So this policy is very interesting to properly secure our data. So that's the uh, site address that is configured, apparently. So now what I can do is just to access any document library on the site. But first of all, as you can see here, I have an informative banner telling me that there is a security policy in place that is not allowing to download, print, or sync files from this site. And then if you want any kind of help, please contact, contact your IT department. Cool. So it's working as expected. 
So if I access the site contents page in here, and I browse the documents, the default documents library, as you can see here, I have the model experience of this document library. And if I want to download files, I cannot. So for instance, let's imagine I'm selecting this file. I'm missing the download option here. I also, I'm also missing the sync option to sync files using the uh, one day for business sync client. It's not present in here, as you can see. Obviously, if I select many files, same behavior is working. I don't have the possibility to download all the files as a zip file. That's pretty cool. If I open using the Microsoft 365 Viewer a PDF document, as you can see here, I don't have either the option to download the file. I cannot even print the file. I don't have the option to print the file present. What about an Office file? For instance, this PowerPoint deck. If I click on the PowerPoint deck, like this one, again, uh, some, message, some messages in here, that's not a problem. Again, I see in this banner, pretty useful. Same banner uh, about the security policy that is in place. And if I do, try to do some tricky things, such as save the file as, I cannot do anything. The only thing I can do is just rename the file. I don't have the print option either. So in summary, my files are safe because they cannot be downloaded, they cannot be print, they cannot be synchronized with the default setup of the block download policy. We also uh, review in the documentation that uh, there are some possibilities in order to, do, to make some exceptions. So owners, for instance, can download or print or sync files or even people that are members of security groups or SharePoint groups. And that's all what I wanted to explain you in regards of the block download policy for SharePoint sites and uh, OneDrive for Business. I hope you have found this video useful and stay tuned. More videos around governance features in SharePoint Premium are coming soon. Bye bye.